da 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 Hello everybody, it's Oshaziz here. What you're looking at is what I like to call a, a hedge apple, or some people call them hedge balls, and some people call them horse balls, or horse balls, horse apples. <laughs> Can't believe I said that. Anyway, <laughs> either way, been trying to find a use for these things right here. Got them growing all over the place. <coughs> and so, what you're fixing to see is what I'm going to classify as a uh, redneck battery. Right there. Do you check this out. Alright, now, I've got, uh, let's see, two, four, six, eight of these running series, and the voltage is up to 301. Uh, and I haven't uh, done much more tests, just kind of got this set up, uh, got really crummy connections between all of them, so if I barely bump it in the wrong way, I'll lose most of my voltage until i got to tinker around with it. But uh, I'll flip this switch to what I was doing on the radio show, where people couldn't see for live, see what it said. And this is right here what I'm getting on the DCA side up there on the 200, I'm not exactly sure. And this is, okay, and then down in the milliamps. That must be ohms over there then. I don't know. That's in the milliamp range on the 20 side. That's in the milliamp range on the 200. Not very impressive, I guess. Need to learn how to use this doggone thing better. All I care about anyway is voltage anyway. You see, whenever I flipped it over there, the uh, voltage uh, dropped down, and now it's uh, climbing back up. Also, I have a uh, little electrolytic capacitor connected to it. And, let's take this 9-volt battery right here. and see if we can put a charge to it. Do-do-do-do. Alright, 9.51. And it's dropping down. Let's see where it levels out. Do, 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 do. <sighs> well, still going down. But, uh, either way, <coughs> it, uh, I think puts off enough voltage to charge some capacitors that uh, you could probably in turn charge something small with. Might be slow. Might have to add a couple hundred more of these right here. <laughs> and it's down to 3.7. Close and falling. It'll level out somewhere. And in a moment here, I'll short that out. Do 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 do. Redneck battery, made out of hedge apples, hedge balls, horse apples, and some other technical term I can't even remember. But. Worst case scenario, if you ain't got a battery charger and you got some junk in your pocket, well, I suppose you could make you a doggone battery, huh? What I got here, essentially I took some, uh, I think it's probably about half inch pipe, somewhere around about, and uh, cut it in half to make my plates all the way. I was going to do the whole thing, but... It got to be obnoxious and that stuff is sticky as all get out so maybe you can even make glue with it. But it's got a galvanized nail in it like this on one side and a, one of the copper plates instead of this pin on the other side. Alright now that's still falling. Let me uh, <coughs> short this thing out completely. Alright. It's completely shorted out. Now, let it go. 
I'd say uh, it springs back pretty rapidly. So one of these by themselves, which I'll connect right here, Oh, well, now yeah, what'd I do? Oh, okay, I gotta duh. take that off. And take that off. And connect that to that. And that to that. <coughs> Alright. That's one by itself. Just a hedge ball with a little piece of copper wire. Hope you can see that voltage. <coughs> Alright, so if you had better connections on this uh, gizmo here than I got, and actually took some time to maybe solder some connections and stick them down in there in the right spot or whatever, you know, I'm sure you can get probably better results than I did. And yeah, I did bump it, so let's give it a turbo charge with the 9 volt battery again. Do 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 do. I got a good connection on here. Should be there. We go. Err. Why are you? All right. Somewhere along the line, I get a short, probably right there. Probably not making a very good connection on my voltmeter. But either way, I think you get the point. Ah. Got 4.4 uh, some odd volts uh, after it's been supercharged, but uh, on its own, uh, if you got the connections on there, at least 3 volts. That ought to be enough to charge something up. Wait for it to fall down here for a minute. And let's see, I, yeah, I did take that capacitor back off. Let's hook the capacitor back up. It's on the boat. I'm draining the battery down. No wonder. Duh. <laughs> Alright, I'm sorry. I'm getting excited about hedge apples. Okay, I put the capacitor back on. A little tiny one. Not even sure the volt range on it. <coughs> okay, battery's disconnected. Capacitor's on there. And you need uh, a galvanized and a copper deal if you want to do it just like I did it. And... <coughs> I used uh, eight hedge apples, horse apples, whatever you want to call them. But from now on, I'm calling them the redneck battery. Dun 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 dun. Woo! Dun, 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 dun.